Hey Sun Report Squad, in this episode I'm showing you my ruler collection and I'm going to tell you which rulers I use all the time and also which ones I might have a little bit of buyer's remorse about, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. If that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And we are taking a look at the massive amounts of rulers that I own. Some I use and some I really don't. So let's get started. The first rulers that I actually picked up were these OmniGrid rulers. They're like neon, highlighter yellow. And while they're a fun color, I used these when I was first getting started quilting. I didn't really know what I needed, so this is what everybody was using at the time, it seemed. So I got this, uh, I think this is a 6 by 24 so this is a 6 inch by 24 ruler. It's got a little bit of uh, some like non-slip stuff on the back, like a little bit. It works okay, and I actually picked up these True Grips, and I put these little, like, silicone dots on the back of all of my rulers. This is a two and a half by 18 ruler and I use these for like smaller cuts or if I was you know doing strips stuff like that. So real small pieces. These were the first two that I owned. While the OmniGrids do work I have since kind of migrated to another brand that I feel works a little bit better and let me tell you more about these rulers. I own a lot of them. These are the Creative Grids rulers and I discovered these in my local quilt shop and they've got these really cool like very much like non-skid little pads in the back. They're, I don't know, they're like frosted, but they work great on quilting cotton and also garment fabric. Um, these do not hurt the fabric. Sad story, I was working one day and had this on the floor. Bad idea and my chair leg cracked it. So what did I do? I immediately went out and got another one. So this is my new 8.5 by 24 ruler. I use this all the time. I would say this is my main ruler and I'm a complete Creative Grids convert now. So let me tell you about some of the other rulers I've got. Actually they're mostly Creative Grids and I keep them in this little container that I got from Target's Dollar Spot. Oops. This one's kind of a square up ruler. It's 8.5 inches and I'm not really sure why but I also have Creative Grids other eight and a half inch ruler because you definitely need a lot of eight and a half inch rulers, right? I also picked up this eight and a half inch, I believe this is, yes, I really like eight and a half inch rulers. I did use this to cut out a quilt, although that was like three years ago and the quilt still isn't pieced together, but I really like the ruler and I've used it to make a lot of triangles. Here's my little six and a half inch square ruler. And I use this when I have like a six and a half inch quilt block. One thing I can tell you is if you're going to be making a quilt with a lot of blocks, it's worth it to get the corresponding size ruler so you can square up all your blocks so they're uniform size. These rulers are maybe like 20 bucks, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it just to have totally uniform size quilt blocks. So that's really the reason why I probably own so many of these square rulers is because at one point I was working on a quilt with six and a half inch blocks or eight and a half inch blocks and so on. This ruler is the binding tool. When I first started quilting I saw this product. This is a binding tool and it kind of helps you cut your binding strips so that they're perfect when they butt up to each other. And I saw Jenny Doan on the Missouri Star Quilt Company using it. It's a cool ruler but I have found a method that works better that doesn't involve this ruler so I don't really use it anymore. A couple years ago I took a class with Mary Fonz and this ruler came with the class. This is Fonz and Porter's half and quarter ruler. I did use it in the class. I haven't used it since then. It is kind of a neat ruler though. This bad boy is Creative Grids 12 and a half inch ruler and you might think like when would I really need this but I have made quite a few quilt blocks that were 12 and a half inches unfinished so it has come in handy plus I actually will combine this with my eight and a half by 24 inch ruler so quite often I'll use those rulers together just to trim my quilts after they've been finished. So this one actually does come in handy and I love this one. 
While I haven't done a lot of free motion quilting lately, I did take a couple handy quilter classes on the Sweet 16 sit down and I purchased these rollers from those classes. They're pretty cool and I do have the hopper foot for my Janome 7700 and I've got an extension table. I actually should do some free motion quilting one of these days. Maybe it'll be a future video. Let me know if you would enjoy watching me try to free motion quilt using rulers. But I've got this handy tool and this one makes a lot of shapes. This does like a clamshell shape or like a half circle. It does like points and you can do a lot of things with it. It's got a straight edge and then it's got this curved edge. So we actually used this in the class and I purchased it. And then I also got something called Handy Grip and it's sort of the same type of material that's on the back of the Creative Grids rollers. Um, but it's sort of like these little strips and you can put these on any roller. I will say these are definitely, they definitely are more effective than these true grip circles, but I would not recommend these strips for like fine fabrics. Like if you're trying to use the ruler to cut silk or something that might snag, I would actually not recommend these because this is a little bit like sandpaper, but for your quilting cottons or for your sturdier fabrics, this would be totally fine. I have not personally experienced any problems with it damaging my fabric and I have used it. So these work really well and I'll try to link to everything below if I can find it in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these rulers, look below and I'm going to try to create a kit from kit.com to link to all of these products. Now that I'm getting more into dressmaking and garment construction, I picked up a couple curved rulers. This one's from Amazon. This is the Fairgate Curve. Works pretty well. And then I also got this one. This is from a class I took with Otika Beamer. She is a crafts instructor as well. And it's cool because I like that it's see-through so that you can see what you're doing underneath. This one you cannot see through. And this also has lines for seam allowance. I believe this is a 3 8 seam allowance and this is the 5 8 seam allowance. So pretty handy tool and I can see using this a lot once I get more into like grading patterns and doing a lot of things with that. So I'm very happy to pick these up. The rulers I don't have that I'm looking for are more dressmaking rulers. I'd love to get one of those flexible rubber rulers. I think that would be cool. And I'd also like to get a smaller flexible ruler that looks more like this. So I'm looking to pick that up as well. You know, like the kind that you see in all those like beginner fashion student kits, something along those lines. So that's my ruler collection. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know why. And do you think I have too many rulers? And also what's your favorite ruler? I'd like to know. I will see you next time for another edition of the sewing report.